Winner, 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 winner. So rule number one of this world, you got you gotta sing the world like that. Just go. Because this song rolls tremendously deep. But anyway, regarding the actual speed run. To start it off, I like to jump and cape mash past this upslope here. So you're not walking up it by accident or anything. But if that's really hard or something, you could just do something like this. Just do a quick jump over it. So for example, you could do that. Or this. Either one is good, as long as you're avoiding that upslope. You could even do that, but that's a little tricky. Just avoid the upslope, that's the important thing here. And then your little downslopes here, you want to take advantage of those. So right when Aladdin hits it, just jump so you carry that momentum. Same for here. Hit the downslope, jump. And this is where I recommend, even for beginners, to stock up on your apples. There is one really, really difficult strat for it. But I'm going to show an alternative, much easier strat. So yeah, start off, take advantage of the down slopes. You can mash here if you want. So I, I'm not even gonna show the hard strat, you shouldn't be doing it right away. But one important thing you wanna do is right when you land here, you wanna jump on this first platform. You're gonna see that it pushes Aladdin forward significantly, like that. And you see, if it, if you don't do that, this pop bird is going to hit you. So if I don't do anything, it's going to hit. So try to do that. It, it's a little tricky to do. But if you can do it, cool. You won't get hit by this pop bird. Honestly, if you take the pop bird damage, it's not a big deal. So, the strat I'm going to show here, just throw your apples there. And if you have three, like I have right now, you can even do this. Just one, two, three. Get rid of all the pop birds and make that very easy to clear. Because if you don't do that, if you just throw two here, you're going to have to like jump over and that might be tricky for beginners to do. But if you can do it, then cool. You know, throw two. Just jump over like this. Grab them. And you want at least... You want to at least grab two of the apples. Don't walk away here with just one of them. Grab at least two. If you want all three, then that's cool. But you at least want two of them. So again, brush this platform up here can throw two apples. If you like try to jump here and throw the apple, it's not going to hit the pot. So that's why I'm just throwing the apples on the ground here, like this. And again, if you have three apples, you can just throw three of them. Get rid of, you know, the clear way. And the thing about these apples is that they have 60 frames of invincibility. It's kind of hard to demonstrate here because the pop bird's in the way. Let me get rid of it. Come on. There we go. So if I throw here... You see how the apples went through Aladdin? You couldn't even collect it first, so I get there. They have 60 frames of invincibility. So that's why you should throw it from back here. So you can just run right into it without having to wait.
Oh, wait, we, we gotta put this music back on. The music's too good to not let it go. But anyway, that that's a really easy, simple strat. One, two, three. There you go. Ledge grab this, go back to the ground, bounce off of this pot bird, go back here. And you wanna ledge grab this last platform. Cause there is a really difficult trick where you do a frame perfect jump off of this platform here. You can get here without ledge grabbing. But you don't wanna go for that as a beginner. Just take the ledge grab and move on here. Take this little down slope, just jump here. There you go. You'll spawn the genie the fastest way. So just like this. For this part, you just gotta follow what I'm doing here. And just like that. So remember when I said you didn't wanna grab that one up in the first level? It's because of this part right here. The pattern that the genie will spawn here depends on how many lives you have. And if you have one or two lives, the genie will spawn this pattern. Every time. It's not random. It's dependent on how many lives you have. So again, one or two lives, it'll spawn this every time. And this is another part where you just gotta feel out how to jump on everything without messing up. Like, jumping on these hooks is kind of tricky. And there's really no real advice that I could give. I like to personally, like, do a quick left and right into it. Just so I don't overshoot it. Like that. And this jump right here. I should explain. But before that, if you have zero lives here, he's gonna spawn all clouds, and that's really slow. So zero lives, all clouds, one or two lives, you'll get that pattern. If you have more than two lives, it'll spawn not only a slower pattern, but a much more difficult one to handle. So that's why you don't want to get the extra life in World 1. You want either one or two lives here. So this cloud jump that I'm doing here... Basically, the way these clouds work, you see how when I'm jumping on and off of it, the cloud is like lowering itself? You see that? You don't want to jump when the cloud is lowered. Because if you try to do that, you're going to miss. You see? So a really easy way to overcome that, just stand for a second, and there you go. If you just let the cloud do that animation when you land and then run and jump, it's really easy. And don't rush it either, just stand there and take your time. Wait for the cloud to stop that animation and you'll be fine. If you try to rush it like this, that still made it, but that barely, that barely worked. I mean, obviously I'm making it when I'm trying to demonstrate it going low, but just trust me. If you want to go for this starting out, just stand here for a second, wait for the cloud to stop doing that animation, and then go. You'll make it. And you have a pretty fair window to do it as well. Like there, I was like barely off the middle of the cloud when I started jumping and I still made it. So just wait for that animation to stop, and then go for it. You know, the optimal way to do it is like... Like if you do this, you're gonna miss. 
this is why you shouldn't go for it optimally, because it's actually really hard to try to jump right away. You basically need to land on the very edge of the cloud. So don't go for this. That's really, really hard to do. And like I said before, just wait for it to stop. And it'll be really easy. And if you don't want to do that, if you just want to wait all of it out, there's the last two patterns. If you're really not comfortable doing this trick. I like, I got myself confused. There we go. And then for the end of this level here, just take advantage of your down slopes. There's two down slopes here. Just run down this one, jump. Run down this one a little bit, jump. You see how much of a boost there is? This one you can really see how you keep the downslope momentum. Like that one is very visually seeable. Or, er, yeah. So just do that with all of these. Jump down, jump there. Cape mash to this one. And then downslope again, jump on the downslope. Jump over this upslope, don't run up it. And then you could cape mash to here. But especially starting out, you might just not want to bother doing that. So you can just do this. Very simple. But I'll just demonstrate that you can cape mash it as well. Just like that. So down slope, down slope, cape, down slope. Upslope, and you're good. So the second genie level is a lot of movement. There's really not much other ways to go about it. You can do a full cape so you can absolutely make sure you get over this pop bird. You can cape mash it a little bit, but you're probably better off just doing a full cape. And then just do this for the beginning. You can either bounce off of this balloon, or if you want to try a different strat, I mean it's pretty easy. That strat there saves 5 frames. But I mean that's just 5 frames and if you're starting out that's probably not worth it. So I would go with just bouncing off of that. Bounce off of that one and then cape mash over here. And then run along this whole down slope. And grab onto this hook here. Swing to this one and hold down right so you immediately let go. There is a strat that's 20 frames faster, but it's pretty hard to do. You're throwing an apple at this last popper to skip grabbing the second hook. But I don't think that's worth doing starting out. So I don't want to explain it too much. So just grab this hook, grab this one. Same thing for this hook, just cape to it, hold down right, so you reach the platform. Or hold down right and hold the cape, so you reach this. And by the way, these spikes, contrary to most games having spikes be, uh, you know, death points, these spikes don't do any damage at all. So if you, like, really mess this part up for whatever reason... You're, you're not going to die here or anything. You don't have to worry about these spikes. They don't do any damage. Which is pretty funny, considering most games. You know, spikes are instant death. 
Or at the very least, they'll damage you. But those do nothing. And then here, you want to apple this pop bird right as you're coming down onto the ledge. Because otherwise, the pop bird is going to damage you. And what I like to do, you see this yellow thing that's on the platform? I don't even know what to call it, but right below Aladdin, you see that yellow gold thing? Just jump here, and then cape, and then throw, just before you land on this platform. Just like that. There you go. And then once you're here, just avoid bouncing on these things. Because you will lose five frames of four momentum. And you know, even though it's five frames, they're just really easy to avoid, so just do that. Whether you want to jump up here and do this. So you just go to this bottom one, jump up here, go to this bottom one, jump here. And then for this next part, you want to bounce off of it off of that thing, the gem. I mean, it, it kind of is a gem, so... Just go to here, bounce off this first gem, cape all the way to this platform here. Then jump up these platforms, grab that red gem. And then this spot, you don't want to cape mash too fast. Because if you do, you're going to get hit by that tornado. So this is actually a spot where if you're doing really, really fast cape mashing, just slow down. This jump here is also pretty tricky to get. You can jump early and still make it. But it's still pretty tight timing. And like you see there, it's very easy to miss. So if you want to, just... You know, slip off this ledge. Grab that one. That's like a really easy strat. If you try to go up here, you're gonna get hit by the tornadoes. Or, never mind, you're not going to, but... I mean, you, you could alternatively do that as well, I guess, if you want. But you're also ledge grabbing, which loses some time. But I guess it really isn't going to matter if you're not comfortable doing this jump under these ledges. If you're just going to slip off and grab this one. So I guess either one is good. And then this part here, this landing is pretty tricky, because this pot bird doesn't give you much room to land and then jump again. And there's really no way around it, because you can't angle an apple throw to hit the pot bird. You just have to deal with it. And then, like, if you try to land here, you're going to ledge grab here. Though, if this is easier for you to do than landing over here and then jumping again. You know, just do what's consistent for you. 
Especially when you're just starting out. So let's see, like do this. Land here. Could do something like that. But yeah, that popper doesn't give you much room to land and jump again. So don't be surprised if you do that strat and you slip off the ledge. It's gonna happen. And then here, avoid the gem bounce. And that's the end of the stage. For this third level, these genie tongues, they cycle. They're on a global timer. Or a level timer, I guess. So there's a few ways you can go about this. You can duck under this pot bird, wait a little while, bounce off of it. Jump up to this pot bird, bounce off the gem, wait here nice and comfortably, like that. But don't be surprised if you're slipping around everywhere. This section is still pretty tricky. But the point of this is, you can really take your time here. Like, see how much of a window you have. Like, I'm just idling at times. And you still make the cycle perfectly fine. So this one's more of a, you know, just find what you like to do. I should also explain the hook mechanics. You have to be at the end of your swing to get, like, a high jump out of it. You see right there? It, it's it's really weird like if you're at the very peak of your swing it'll do that there's like a sweet spot between the peak of the swing and like just before that where if you let go of the hook it'll give you that high jump out of it and there's really I wish I could give better advice for it but that's really about it you just have to feel out where that timing is. Just don't let go too late, like this. You see I'm at the very peak of his swing, and I'm getting a really low short jump. And you don't even get close to the gem. And the same, ha same thing happens if you try to let go as early as possible. So you just have to find that sweet spot. And I guess it's like, you can look at when Aladdin is horizontal with the hook. That's a pretty good visual cue. But my advice would just be to feel it out. So that'll be something to just, you know, chill out and practice for a little while, just do it over and over again, and get the feel of the timing of when to let go. You can also do this to get up here, if that's more comfortable for you. There's a lot of variations you can do here. But this one right here, this might be the easiest one because you can just wait for a long time in all these places you just chill here get this jump still there you go for these genie springs you want to do exactly as I'm gonna do here jump on this first one and then this far right one, go to the one on the left. Then this next one. Then the one right above. Then the one on the left side. If you try to jump on the one above, you're not going to make it. So just this one. And then from this genie spring, you can make it right to the top. Just hold up left. 
and you'll grab the ledge. You don't have to jump onto this one and then make it up. You can just go on this one and then ledge grab up. So this one, this one, whoops. This here, this one, this one, this one, all the way to the top, there you go. And then here is relatively simple. Except if you like try to optimize this part, it's pretty easy to like slip off the ledge. But you know, just bounce, chill for a second, bounce, go back up. So this is where the falling platforms are introduced. You want to jump onto the second one, then on this one, then here. Then you want to ledge grab this platform, because you have to wait for this thing to, uh, to be able to clear it. Just like that. So that's why you want to ledge grab it. So you can make this platform fall faster than if you were to land on top of it. So grab it, wait for it to come down. You have a lot of a lot of room there. You don't have to jump as early as possible to optimize it. You have a ton of room to wait to jump on the next one. So just like that. And then I don't I don't want to talk too much about these two blocks that you can technically jump up without ledge grabbing. Just ledge grab them. Don't lose the almost one second to trying to get that. Just jump onto them and ledge grab it. This is the second one here. And then just follow the rest of the movement here. Bounce off of here. Just grab this. Grab this one. Bounce off of here. Do a high bounce if you need to. And then if you want to squeeze through this one, you can. But you can also just land on it and walk off. And then squeeze between the pop bird and that last platform. Let's grab the last one and then that's the end of the stage. Just like this. And that's the end of the genie world. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask in the Aladdin Discord. Or you can message me with all of your questions spamming. I really don't mind it at all. But I hope this video helps. And I'll see you guys for the pyramid world. Oh, by the way, just at the end here, you're just maximizing your cape mashing, just for these last few jumps. Yeah, that's all in all. See you guys in the next world.